We always get advice from the sister in who advise us in a natural way. Natural. So we don't necessarily have to go to the doctor. Trish, you're there. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Greetings. How are you? And how is everything? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. How are you? Uh, trying to get over the snow, you know. <laughs> huh. But today wasn't too bad. Well, yeah. I like the way we Canadians talk. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it was bad, but it bad wasn't too enough. bad, right? Bad <laughs> All right. So what's up, and what what you got for us? Uh, what kind of thing can we talk yeah, about tonight? Today, I want to talk to oh, you no, all about sure. mental patterns and disease. Okay. The relationship between the two. Mm -hmm. um, there's a term, uh, metaphysical causation. Okay. That basically describes the power in the words and thoughts that actually create our experiences. Mm -hmm. So for every experience in our lives, there's a thought pattern that actually proceeds and maintains it. Hmm. Therefore, there are some diseases or most diseases in the body that is a result of mental thought patterns uh, which form our experiences. Because we have to remember everything that's manifested physically must first be manifested spiritually and mentally first. Mm -hmm. um, so only fixing the body and not addressing the mind and spirit connection can cause disease to actually resurface and never be fully expelled from one system. Hmm. So, so I actually how, 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 how do we get rid of that or how do we do we adjust that? Yeah, exactly. So I just want to go over some, some mm -hmm. common ailments and the mental thought patterns that actually go along with it mm -hmm. and then some affirmations. Um, that we could actually begin to say to ourselves uh, to begin the mental healing process. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, which is very common amongst a lot of people, is constipation. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually associated with refusing to release old ideas hmm. um, or being stuck in the past. Wow. So when you look at the biology of constipated? Yes, when mm -hmm. you're constipated, especially if you're taking herbs and you have a healthy diet and for mm -hmm, some reason mm -hmm. it's just not going as regular as you'd like yeah um we have to address the mental um thought mm. patterns and that is what it is uh that's what it is related to uh okay. so refusing to release old ideas and being stuck in the past mm -hmm. uh, when we look at the biology of constipation you're actually holding on to toxins in the body mm -hmm. uh, which can actually harm you and when you contrast that to holding on to the past that's actually a form of stagnation. Hmm. Um, and stagnation is another form of constipation in our lives. Wow. Um, so we have to learn to forgive. We have to learn to release. And hmm. we have to learn to be in the present moment and move forward. Um, an affirmation that you can say for that, if you are experiencing constipation um, on a regular basis, is um, as I release the past, the new and the fresh and the vital enter. I allow life to flow through me. So again, affirmations is something that you could do when you wake up in the morning. I like to do my affirmations right after I brush my teeth, I look in the mirror. You know, mm -hmm. I say my affirmations, I feel good about my day, and I'm ready to start my day with a good, a good vibe. Okay. Um, another issue is a prostate problem. So diet, prostate cancer, and large prostate, that's actually been on the rise in Canada over the last like five, six years, mm -hmm. um, especially amongst our brothers. Um, the prostate actually represents the male principle. So it's actually associated with mental fears hmm. um, that weakens the masculinity. Also, giving up if you have a passion and drive and you gave up. Um, sexual pressure and guilt. Um, also, uh, belief in aging. So, you know, you wake up every morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting old this day. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that will mm -hmm. stimulate here in the body exactly. but who, who, who doesn't who doesn't say that though though, though Trish like uh, I don't know there's a whole heap of people that wake up and they look in the mirror and go, oh my god I'm gonna look at that gray I'm getting old you know well, I, 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 I guess you should tone it down and don't 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 get too alarmed is that what it is? exactly I mean living the present moment yes you're getting old but you're alive mm -hmm. you're alive today you have a lot to live for you have a lot of wisdom to share and if you honor the cycle of life Mm -hmm. um, and you believe in reincarnation, you know that your soul will definitely come back here and you'll have another chance. True. Some so people are going to say that's easier said than done. <laughs> and I mean that when I say that. But you, you know, see, that's yeah. where the affirmation comes That's coming. right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if you look in the mirror and you mm -hmm. say, I love and approve of myself, okay. I accept and I stand in my own house. I am forever young. 
There you go. Being that to yourself at least five weeks time mm-hmm. um, in the mirror before you leave, that just repro because that's what it is, you know. It's just reprogramming the mind True. to have a more positive outlook on life mm-hmm. and living in the present moment. So we have to remember that oh, yeah. a point of power is in the present moment. Mm-hmm. And this is where we can begin to make changes. The mm-hmm. smallest beginning, whether it's an affirmation mm-hmm. or just saying hello to your neighbor which is something that you've never done before True. Um, will make all the difference hmm. sounds like a plan Trish <laughs> thank you so much for watching my presentation feel free to leave any comments below uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can follow me on Facebook Instagram or Twitter at Zero Herbals bye for now and have a happy and healthy day